Hello and welcome to another session of Java. Today we are going to learn about Java applets. A Java applet is a small application which is written in Java, compiled to Java bytecode and is executed when user launches the Java applet from the web page within a Java virtual machine in a process separate from the web browser itself. Java applets are usually written in Java, but other languages such as Zaytan, JRuby, Pascal, etc. may also be used as well. Java applets run at very fast speeds compared to JavaScript. Unlike JavaScript, Java applets had access to 3D hardware acceleration, making them well suited for non-trivial computation intensive visualizations. Since Java's bytecode is a cross-platform, that is, platform-independent, Java applets can be executed by the browsers on many platforms. That includes Microsoft Windows, FreeBSD, Unix, Linux, and macOS. Java applets are executed in a sandbox environment by most web browsers, preventing them from accessing the local data like the clipboard data or the file system. The code of the Java applet is downloaded from a web server after which the browser either embeds the applet into a web page or opens a new window showing the applet's user interface. Let us take a Java applet demo. This applet is to display super world, a string and draw an arc and rectangle. So we have to import java.applet.star the package and java.awt.star package awt is abstract window toolkit this contains the useful methods for the canvas and graphics awt is a GUI it's a graphical user interface toolkit designed to work across multiple platforms every applet must extend applet and graphics object is passed to the paint method graphics methods are drawing a string draw string draw arc draw rectangle so these are used in this applet demo java applets are programs that are embedded in other applications typically in a web page displayed in a web browser uh, let's take a demo Let us compile this applet. Yes, the applet is compiled and the Java byte code uh, is here. Let us run this applet. So here you see applet.html. We need to embed in a HTML file with tags applet or object tags applet tag is deprecated and object code so we have both tags here okay so the code is calling code the class file applet class file specifying the dimensions of uh, height and width and some text uh, let us run this applet so this is the html file Generally, applets are blocked by the browsers. We need to enable them. Generally, the applets, signed applets are uh, accepted. Non-signed uh, applets are blocked. So here we have to configure the browser options. And this is blocked by the Java security. so application blocked your security settings okay let us see okay we can check the add-ons tab so i'm in the firefox so 
so here you see the java platform this is always active is configured and jdk so this is asked to activate so we, we are okay with uh, uh, these settings it should run so not sure why it's not running okay let us uh, test this in internet explorer restricted okay so we are allowing this uh, content it's trying to fetch and run and now application block with java security so let us check the settings so we have security and let us see the custom level so e here we have to see y yes you see here scripting of java applets this is disabled so let us enable it yes okay so let us refresh this page so we have enabled it so still it shows as blocked let us go to the java console we are in the java control panel and the security tab so java content in the browser this is enabled Okay, so at least if it is downloaded or loaded from a server, web server, so we need to enter the site. Yeah, the security of this PC is not allowing it. I guess we have done our um, uh, settings correctly. Okay, so this is how a Java applet runs in the browser. Just to summarize, a java applet extends the class java.applet.applet or in the case of swing applet javax.swing.japplet the class which must override the methods from the applet class to set up the user interface inside itself that is the applet this is a descendant of panel which is descendant of container as applet inherits from the container it has largely the same user interface possibilities as an ordinary standalone java application including the regions with the user specific visualizations the first implementations involved downloading an applet class by class while classes are small files there are often many of them so applets got a reputation of slow loading components however since jar that is java archives were introduced an applet is usually delivered as a single file that has a size similar to an image file maybe hundreds of kilobytes to several megabytes java system libraries and runtimes are backward compatible allowing one to write the code that runs both on the current and the future versions of java virtual machine an applet is placed inside a html document using applet or object tag uh, as we discussed already applet tag is deprecated object tag to be used so this applet tag has three attributes that is code width and height code so we are specifying the applet uh, class to be called and the width and height sets the pixel width and height of the applet 
Applets may also be embedded in the HTML using either the object or the embed element or through the support of these elements. The host application, typically a web browser, instantiates the applet class, creates an applet context for the applet. Once the applet has initialized itself, it is added to the AWT display hierarchy. To minimize the download time, applets can be delivered in the form of a jar file. In the case of this example, all necessary files are placed in a compressed archive, that is Java archive, jar, example.jar. The following embedding code to be used Within the applet tag, so we are calling the jar file as a parameter to the archive. Calling this applet class, specifying the height and width. Java applet advantages. Java rich internet applications, that is RIA, RIA, that have traits similar to desktop applications, but are deployed via the internet. Java RIAs may be developed and deployed as Java applets or Java Web Start applications. Java applets run in the context of a browser. The Java plugin software controls the execution and lifecycle of Java applets. Java Web Start applications are launched via a browser the first time. They may be subsequently launched from a desktop shortcut. Once a Java web start, application is downloaded and, and its security certificate has been accepted by the user, it behaves almost like a standalone application. More information can be had in the docs, Oracle Java documentation. To summarize Java applet advantages, applets are supported by most web browsers and on all operating systems such as FreeBSD, Linux, Microsoft Windows, and Mac OS. The same applet can run on all installed versions of Java at the same time, rather than just the latest plugin version only. However, if an applet requires the latest version of a JRE, that is Java Runtime Environment, the client will be forced to update JRE. Most web browsers cache applets so that they will quick to download when returning to a web page. It can move the work from a server to the client, making a web solution more scalable with the number of users and clients. The applet naturally supports changing user state, such as figure positions on the chessboard. Developers can develop and debug an applet directly by creating a main routine and calling init and start on the applet thus by allowing the development in their favorite Java SC development environment. All one has to do after that is to retest the applet in the applet fear program or web browser to ensure it conforms to security restrictions. An untrusted applet has no access to the local machine and can only, can only access the server it came from. This makes an applet much safer to run than a standalone executable that it could replace. However, a signed applet can have a full access to the machine on which it is running if user agrees. Java applets are fast and can even have a similar performance to the native installed software. The applets are used to provide interactive features to web applications that cannot be provided by the HTML alone. They can capture mouse input and also have a controls like buttons or checkboxes. In response to the user actions, an applet can change the provided graphic content. This makes applets well suited for demonstration, visualizations and teaching. Applets like new stickers, visivis, editors are very much popular. Pages coded in HTML may embed parameters within them that are passed to the applet. Because of this, the same applet may have a different appearance depending on the parameters that were passed. There are some disadvantages associated with the applets. The disadvantages 
compared to the client side web technologies. Java applets depend on GRE, Java Runtime Environment, and normally requires a plugin for the web browser. Administrator may need to be contacted for installation of the same. Some mobile browsers on Apple iOS or Android do not run Java applets. Unlike the older applet tag, the object tag needs workarounds to write cross-browser HTML document. There is no standard to make the content of the applets available to the screen readers. Therefore, applets can harm the accessibility of a website to users with special needs. As with any client-side scripting, security restrictions may make it difficult or even impossible for an untrusted applet to achieve the desired goals. However, simply editing the java.policy file in the Java GRE installation, one can grant access to the local file system, system clipboard for example, or to other network resources other than the network source that served the applet to the browser. Java Applet Security There are two applet types, signed applets and unsigned applets. Applets are encouraged to be signed with a trusted certificate and warning messages appear when running untrusted unsigned applets. Unsigned applets are blocked by default and they can be run by creating an exception in the Java control panel. Unsigned applets may be involved in the combined attacks that exploit a combination of multiple server configuration errors in other parts of the system. An unsigned applet can also be more dangerous to run directly on the server where it is hosted because while code base allows it to talk with the server running inside, it can bypass the firewall. An applet may also try DOS attacks on the server where it is hosted. Communities may solve this problem via source code review or running applets on a dedicated domain. The unsigned applet can also try to download malware hosted on the originating server. However, it could only store such file into a temporary folder as it is a transient data and has no means to complete the attack by executing it. Signed and self-signed applets A signed applet contains a signature that the browser should verify through the remotely running independent certificate authority server. Producing this signature involves specialized tools and interaction with the authority server maintainers. Once a signature is verified and the user of the current machine also approves, a signed applet can get more rights, becoming equivalent to an ordinary standalone program. The rationale is that the author of the applet is now known and will be responsible for any deliberate damage. This approach allows applets to be used for many tasks that are otherwise not possible just by client-side scripting. Self-signed certificates, mostly they are recommended during the development phase that is prior to the release. As of 2014, applets require trusted certificates from commercial sources. Thanks for watching.